What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button over here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now we got a brand new product out today. We're going to look at the Scuba Force Expedition Dry Suit. And if you remember this suit right here, this was a Scuba Force Expedition I owned about a year ago until someone decided that they wanted it a little bit more than I did. And of course they took it from me and I never saw it again. So I went out and purchased a brand new Scuba Force custom made Expedition dry suit for myself. But this is gonna be a great gift for you to get that special someone or even get yourself for this Christmas season. So let's jump right in and see what all features come with the Scuba Force Expedition dry suit. So the first thing that you are going to notice about this suit is it is a tri-laminate base suit. That simply means there's three pieces of material. The internal layer, it is a breathable material. The middle layer, that's your waterproof layer. And the external layer, what you actually see here, that is your protective layer. So it's going to protect, it's going to breathe, and it's going to be waterproof for you when you go underwater. Now you can get this in several different color schemes, whether it's red, blue, black, yellow, uh, or even olive like a previous suit that I've had from Scuba Force. So you can really kind of pick and choose what what color scheme you want now this once again is the expedition model but mine is a custom made model so you can get it either custom or non-custom but let's see what other features comes with this particular suit so we're going to go ahead and start up at the neck seal i did do the o-rest neck ring here or the o-rust neck ring it's simply a clip system that unclips you pull your little yellow ring out your seal pops out you put a new seal in put your yellow ring back in put your clips back on and in about two to three minutes you have a brand new seal if you need one now this is the silicone or the siliflex seal if you want to go with a latex or rubber seal you can do that as well now it does have a neoprene neck gaiter which keeps it very warm around your neck you're not going to have that direct exposure to the water connecting on your neck as well and if you choose to wear say a bibbed hood versus a dry suit a standard dry suit hood you can actually tuck your bib in here so it's not going to flop up around you as well so that's a nice neat feature to the neck ring system here on the scuba force dry suit now the next components that we're going to look at are the valves. You will notice that these are SciTech valves, even though they are branded Scuba Force. You're going to get a low profile valve here on the chest, but an easy to use valve even with thicker gloves. As far as the exhaust valve goes, it's a very simple and easy to adjust system. If you're anything like me, I leave mine all the way open. If I need to ditch air, I simply just raise my arm and I can ditch the air out. If you so choose, you can close the system all the way off or to the desired level that you want, and that way you can manually dump air by simply pressing in on it just like you would say your exhaust on your VC. But the SciTech valves are an absolute must on just about any modern day dry suit. Moving on down, we're going to go ahead and take a quick look at the zipper here. The two zippers that come on this particular suit are both YKK zippers. You're going to have a plastic zip for your waterproof zipper, and then you're going to have a protective zip that comes over it. A lot of dry suit manufacturers will put like a protective flap or some type of system to go over it. Having the two zippers here makes it very easy. Now, if you do remember the video where I popped my upper zipper or this protective zipper, I was still able to use that particular waterproof zipper on the suit and the suit was still good to use even without that protective zipper. But that protective zipper is going to protect the main zipper. It's going to help keep debris out of it and it's going to help protect it in general when you store the suit as well. The next item that we're going to look at are these suspenders from Scuba Forest. Now these do come standard on their suits whether you get a custom made or not. And the cool thing about suspenders, it helps keep the suit up when say you're in a tempered environment and you don't need the suit completely on. You can kind of keep it down at your waist but yet still keep it up out of the dirt by simply adding the suspenders on there. Moving on down to the waist, you'll notice there is a crotch strap, and that's because this particular suit has a what's called a telescoping waist. So it's going to be a little bit tall when you put the suit on, but by pulling the waist part down, you can actually clip it in and it holds the suit in place. It's going to help with trim, it's going to help not getting any air trapped in the suit, and it makes it very easy to don and off the suit and making it a more comfortable suit as well. Moving on down, of course, now we have the Scuba Forest Balanced P-Valve. And you'll notice that the hose that comes on this is extremely long. That means that you can actually cut it to fit you based off your height, if you will. So you can actually adjust this to fit your actual needs when you're wearing this suit. Next up is the side pockets. Now you are gonna get two pockets, one on each leg, and there's multiple storage units. You're gonna have a side pocket here on the front. We can actually open it up, and it's got this piece of plastic inside it that's gonna make it very easy to grab if you got thicker gloves and not that much dexterity. Simply grab it, open up the Velcro, and inside you'll notice there's two pockets. You got a smaller pocket and a larger pocket, and there are little 
um, tabs in here that you can clip off, say bolt snaps and things like that if you've got different accessories, but you can keep your accessories actually separated in the pocket. The pockets do have grommets here in the bottom, so it allows the suit to drain or the pockets to drain as you come out of the water. And then of course you can get a custom nameplate as well that simply Velcros on. So if you've got a lot of divers that are diving the same color, you can simply put your nameplate on that way nobody gets their suits mixed up. Moving all the way down to the bottom, you do get a choice of two different types of boots. You can get their dry boot or what they call the slim boot. This just happens to be the slim boot. The dry boot is going to come all the way up to where it glues onto the material or to the suit itself and it's going to be a solid piece of rubber. With the slim boot, it's basically a neoprene sock that has the bottom sole or the bottom part of the boot glued onto it. You are going to have a protective layer here on the back where your fin strap comes up so it's going to help uh, prevent any chafing or rubbing on the material itself and with the slim boots you are going to have this ankle strap that helps kind of secure around the boot itself to prevent too much air from going in the boot. You're going to get just the right amount to prevent any type of squeeze on your feet however you're not going to get too much that's going to cause an inversion or anything like that. The last item that we're going to look at, of course, is the wrist seals. Now, I chose to go with the SciTech rings here. You can either put the quick glove or you can change it out and have some type of glove lock or the QRS system put on here as well. But Scuba Force also has their Thaneer uh, glove system that you can add as well. I actually prefer the SciTech, but it, it does make it very simple to change out a seal. You simply pull out a ring, pull your seal off, put your... Uh, seal back on the ring and pop it right back in with it being the round size or the larger size It's gonna be great for guys who's got larger hands to get them up through the suit as well But that's what I went with on mine and of course you can either get latex or the seal flex seals for your wrist seals There you go guys. That is the scuba force expedition Like I said, it comes in a slew of different colors and you can also get several different undergarments We will be featuring them in an upcoming video very soon so stay tuned for that. If you're going to be diving very temperate water or very cold water, they've got a slew of different undergarments to go from. If, By the way, if anybody sees my previous Scuba Force dry suit out there, let me know because I'd really love to get that suit back. But guys, that's it. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it. Like I said, pick one of these up for yourself for Christmas or for that special someone as well. But guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.